Well, this is interesting. AI's done exactly what you all in the comments told me it was going to do. It's got really good, really, really good. Now I've been shooting an insane amount of advertising recently and every scam, every deck, every brief coming in my way is AI created. The level of the AI, as you all suggested it would be, is so darn good. It's amazing. It is beyond what I expected in this time frame. I thought it'd get there eventually, but it's beyond that. It's perhaps the best thing that's happened. My career is booming, hence the lack of YouTube videos. We are so busy that I've done more jobs this summer than the last three years combined. Because, and this isn't good news for all of you, by the way. <laughs> Let me just get that out there. Back when I started photography, film was just coming to an end and everyone was going, this is a nightmare. Everyone can do it now. It's, it's impossible. Like, how can you possibly make a career when anyone can just take a picture, have a look at it and be like, yeah, look, I made a picture. The photographers had to become really good to be above those other people. AI has now positioned itself as the new digital. Now, for sure, it's worse for CGI artists than it is for photographers. But for photographers, it's now set a level. AI is this good. To compete against it, you have to be this good. Now let me tell you, there aren't many people that good. And that is why we're seeing a boom. It is back to the old, you've got to be better than the new easy thing. But there's a lot of work up there. Now is the time to knuckle down and learn your craft. Now is the time to make sure you understand it because nobody wants AI slop. I don't know if you've seen like, <laughs> I went on social media, I looked at one AI video. My Instagram feed is now ruined. It's just AI slop, mountains of it. I don't go on it anymore. It's rubbish, it's ruined it. Nobody wants an advert that looks like AI. Nobody wants to be associated with AI. AI is the dirty word. Look at like, go to the comment section on a social media advert that's produced by AI. Not for photography, not for a camera brand, something outside of our genre, something where the people don't have a, an interest in what we do. They don't care if it's a photograph. Look at the comments. The tides have turned, and yes, if you're an average photographer, you are absolutely foobard. There is no coming back from it. Your job is gone. If you're a low-level photographer, it's gone. But aren't they the people everyone was complaining about before? At some point in history, there's always, like when video came out, the 5D Mark II, wedding photographers are doomed. You can just take a screenshot from a video. Yeah, you can. It didn't look as good though, does it? AI can create anything. One, it looks like AI, and two, it doesn't do that great a job of it. And I'm not talking about the technical. I don't go, oh, it looks as good as a photograph. Yeah, technically it looks as good as a photograph. But it doesn't have my sensibility. No one does, only I do. It doesn't have my take on the world. It has a generic take on the world. AI has got so good that you can Google anything and AI will answer it for you. Now, I've been using this a lot recently with some very difficult work I've had on in an unrelated company. Guess what? All of the information was kind of correct, but wrong. Because it just scours everything. It doesn't know whether the light is good or not. It doesn't, I was trying to get a macro written for Excel recently. And I kept writing it, I kept asking different ways of asking the question. It kept getting it wrong because it's scouring the internet and guess what's on the internet? Incorrect information. It's, it's kind of hit a limitation, but it has also, is pushed the, like, I, some of these um, briefs that have come in recently for the last, the last three jobs we've done been global campaigns and they had AI generated images for what we needed to photograph. The first one of these I saw, I thought, oh good Lord, I'm in trouble. That looks so good. And then you look at it for a second longer and you go, hmm, doesn't really though, does it? There's a few quirks there. Now most people, most photographers, couldn't take a photograph as good as the AI. That is true. Good photographers can take one considerably better with actual meaning and relevance. And that comes from a still life guy, you know, <laughs> the least meaning and relevance of any photography. AI has done us a favor. It has made us more valuable. My day rate's gone up for the first time in 10 years. I've added an extra grand on top of my day rate, and that's before the usage. And that's because of AI. And yes, 
I apologize, if you're not in that position, you are in trouble. But there is now a goal, there is now a reason, there is now a rationale to work hard to get to that point because when you get there, AI cannot compete and neither can 99% of photographers, as it's always been. There's always been the people at the top who make all the money and everyone else. The problem now is the everyone else who are making a bit of money and now it is looking AI savagely. It's not looking great. You've got to be good. You've got to be the best. You've got to be elite. And thankfully, I find that exciting in some weird way. That probably says more about my mental health state than anything else. But for me, that's exciting. I've got to keep ahead of the robot. For other people, it ruins the fun. It's like music competitions. I would find that very exciting, but other people are like, oh, it's not a competition, it's music. But my point of making this video is, times are changing, they have changed rapidly. They've done exactly what everyone thought would happen in the comments that I said wouldn't happen. I was completely wrong there, it got better quicker than I thought. But there was a, a consequence to this which has been something I did not foresee. Everyone hates AI, nobody wants AI. Nobody wants AI on their brand, of course, cheap, snidey little brands do and rubbish brands do, but no one's shooting for them anyway, like rubbish food brands, rubbish packaging. You look at these AI-generated images, he even has to say on food packaging, AI-generated image. Are you gonna put something in your body where the image is AI-generated? Imagine what they put in the food. That's a thought process. This it could be a blessing in disguise. It really could. And of course, things might change again. I saw someone in the comments going to go, yeah, but it is going to get better than you. I don't see how it can. I have a new idea every week which AI can't have. AI can only have the ideas that it's already had and it can only learn from the... It can only be generally good. I guess is the point of it. It's only the sum of its parts. Anything really good is out there. It's quasi. It's, it's, it's novel. AI is not novel. It's not quasi. It is the sum of all the parts. It's all the information blended into something bland. And it is bland. And I looked at these AI scams and I looked at my images next to them and I felt safe in my career. The initial fear was there. Obviously, when I saw these AI scams coming, I was like, oh, good God, how are we going to take a better photo? Like, that looks better there than my photograph is going to look. But after the initial panic, you go, no, it doesn't. Also, it doesn't make any sense. What's that doing there? What's that doing there? You can't just Photoshop it out. It's not a lossless file. You know, editing an AI image is not easy. If you edit it with a prompt, do you want to change my jumper from orange to blue? Cool. My studio background's changed as well, though. You can go into Photoshop, but you've got to mask it really carefully by hand because it's not a lossless file. And if you try masking a JPEG compared to the same image as a TIFF, you'll know what I'm talking about. You want to color correct a JPEG? And yeah, I'm sure one day lossless files on AI generation will be possible, but can you imagine the cost involved because of the size of the data farms? Jesus. It's pretty bad now. They're already asking people to stop saying please and thank you in AI because it's like melting the ice caps. Times are changing. Times are going to change. The best, like, or the only way I can see to stay relevant when times are changing is to get better. Let me know your thoughts down below, though. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Obviously, none of us know the future. I'm just going with what I know from the past in that being the best at what you do is the safest option. As long as you're better than everyone else, there's a great selling point. Being cheap is a very difficult thing. Being quicker can be useful, but competing against computers, not that useful. It, it's a whole wide range of things. Currently, we're looking at about £8,000 British for an AI-generated image for an advert. That's about the cost. I know people are just typing a prompt. Go and meet a creative director who's dealing with a client who has a million and one snickety little bits they want changing. The amount of editing and the time it takes to do an AI advert, well is longer than a photo shoot. Just to bosh something out in AI, yeah, you can get it done quickly, but anyone who works in this field knows that's not how clients work. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.